There are children screaming in the background. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to A Little Catholic Boost, a daily reflection on the readings from Mass. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so blessed to have you. And thank you for joining me in prayer today. So today's meditation will be coming to us from the first reading for Mass, which is from the Acts of the Apostles. So this reading picks up right where yesterday's reading left off, and Paul is saying his real final words to the people of Ephesus. Paul's message for us today is all about remaining vigilant, which is sometimes hard to remember in kind of the drone of the day-to-day, -day where we get caught up in little problems or big events and we can forget why we're here or the severity of the battle that's going on around us and how serious the spiritual warfare is in the world. Paul today, just like yesterday, kind of sets himself up as an example of vigilance right off the bat. He talks about how he would weep and admonish all of the Ephesians every night for three years just to keep them on their toes. He was always aware of the seriousness of the spiritual battle being fought. He was always aware of the seriousness of the need of our souls and the hunger of our souls, especially amidst such a corrupt world. He also gives them some tips about how to be vigilant. He talks about sticking to the scripture staying away from the tempters and the people who twist the faith and twist the truth, which is something that we definitely experience today as well. So clinging close to Christ and clinging close to his word will really help us out. The next thing he talks about is working really hard and sticking with your vocation and your job. They say an idle mind is the devil's playground. You know, people who don't have a lot going on, it can be easy when you're bored to kind of dabble in things that you probably shouldn't and may not be good for you. The next thing is giving your money to the poor and the weak, which if getting rid of your physical possessions and your physical wealth doesn't remind you that we are not made for this world, then I don't know what does. So all the advice that Paul's giving them to be vigilant is really advice that kind of keeps their head out of this world and this world's focus and pulls them into what they're really here for, what they're really made for, and on the next step to keep going in that journey. And the last thing that he does with them right before he leaves is he kneels and he prays with them. I think praying with one another and having good, strong spiritual community is so, so important to keeping us on track with where we want to go. My teacher once told me that the person you become is dependent on two things. What you put inside you, so, you know, media, music, whatever you kind of let into your mind, and the people you hang out with. It's so, so important to have good spiritual community that will keep your eyes focused on the right path rather than steer you down the wrong way. So especially in troubling times like these are where we're all very confused, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and the bustle and being scared or worried or trying to figure things out. But maybe we need to take a little bit of Paul's advice and do everything we can to be vigilant about why we are truly here and make that be our main focus. That is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you did like this video, please like this video and share it with a friend. They'll probably like it too. Um, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you thought of the video, please. We love feedback. And I really just hope you all have a wonderful day. May God bless you and may we all ever grow in love with the Lord. Bye.